Hi there, welcome. My name's Hannah and this is my attempt to something similar to Vlogmas Advent related video knitting content. <laughs> and we'll see how we go. Um, welcome to the Rosip Island YouTube channel. Uh, as I said, my name is Hannah and I normally just record videos about knitting and my um, hand dyeing and yarn addiction, I guess. Uh, and I normally do a advent calendar with hand dyed yarn each year. And I have done so as well this year, 2023, but a bit differently. I have um, I've released a collection of four yarns um, for opening each Advent Sunday in December, um, which is sort of something that um, my mum used to do for us when we sort of we, we grew a bit too old for the um, traditional 24 day Advent calendar, and maybe some little bit bigger presents were more suitable but you couldn't do that for 24 days so we did it over just the Sundays um, anyway I needed to do something different this year and that's what I chose to do and I think um, the, the end result was really good um, so I thought with these little videos um, I'll do something similar to a vlogmas which is bits and pieces of, of, of video from just random stuff and I'll also present the the yarn for that um, Sunday. So hopefully I'll manage to make four weekly videos. Um, yes. This one is a little bit different because we're actually over this weekend with the first Advent Sunday. Um, we're away. We're um, on the Tasman Peninsula in in Port Arthur for a weekend, just a family holiday getaway. So I'm here in my sort of camping, walking gear, sitting in a cabin overlooking the ocean, a little bit um, hot and um, melting after a day out walking and um, yes, walking on the beach, walking around um, Port Arthur and a few different places around this area so yes um excuse the look <laughs> this is real life i have my uh, cup of green tea so yes i just wanted to check in i'll have a few bits and pieces of video from Port arthur the historical site um Port arthur is um, a place of historical significance it was a um, place where they sent convict from England to Australia, Tasmania, to um, be in prison and to to do labour. Um, I'm not a historian, so I'm not going to attempt to tell you a story in any accurate form. But um, it is um, a very interesting place and in a weird way, very beautiful. So I have some video from there when we visited yesterday, so I'll, I'll put that in this video. I have an advent calendar for myself, not a yarn advent calendar because I'm honestly a little bit overwhelmed by all the minis that I have collected over the past few years. So this year I decided I wanted to treat myself and I got an advent calendar and the advent calendar I got is from SoFab, a fabric store. So I will also attempt to uh, video and um, in, include that video of when I open the different packages um, in these weekly videos. Um, so that will be in this video as well. And um, yes, we'll, we'll see how we go with this plan.
So one um, important part of these videos will be actually showing you the yarn from the, the Sunday advent of the Rosie Island advent calendar. So in this video, it will be the first Sunday, 3rd of December, and I will have inserted some photo and video of, of that parcel and what the content of it and um, I will show you now what I'm making you might have seen some photos I have my first advent yarn and project in this um, Christmas bag that I made myself I can't even remember when so the yarn for the first Sunday in advent is this one and this is the delicious sock yarn base that I dye, 85% um, merino and 15% nylon. And the colorway, um, and I should say all the colorways and inspiration for the collection of my advent is from a song called Summer in the Sun. Um, and the, the colorway names for all the colorways um, are some of my favorite parts of the lyrics of of that song so I'll include a, a link to the music video of that song the christmas in the sun below this video so this one is the first one and this is called put an angel on the palm tree so the inspiration was um that and I'm thinking a palm tree with some lights and angels, sort of a decorated palm tree. Um, and I decided to make a sock out of mine. That's I was thinking instead of making that one project with lots of minis, I was going to allow myself for every Advent Sunday cast on a new project. Um, not necessarily finish it, but I will have four nice Christmas projects. So this is my sock and I chose a pattern called Atwood Socks. I can't remember who's the designer. I did that for the pattern. I'm still doing just a fish lips kids heel. So that's that one. And something I did that I normally don't do is that I used a 2.5 for the leg, 2.5 millimeter needle. And then I used a two millimeter needle for the foot. And that was basically because I thought I had a two millimeter needle for the leg and realized that it was a 2.5 and I thought it doesn't really matter for the leg, but I wanted it to be a bit tighter for the foot where you get more wear. I'm very happy with that one. So that's my first Advent Sunday knitting project. It will be a pair of socks and I'm very excited to see what, um, 
others to made out of, of their, or what they plan to make out of their first um, yarn parcel from the Rosie Island Advent. <laughs> As I am away for this video and I want to try to upload before I get back home, I'm not sure if that's possible because Wi-Fi internet um, situation when I'm here. Um, so I don't have a lot of um, other knitting projects with me. Um, so it might be in future ones I'll have more to show you. But today I can show you one thing that I'm knitting on while I'm here on, on holiday. I have these two skeins of um, Coastal, which is yarn based, I think the same as Coast from Holstgarn. It's a um, almost 50-50 um, cotton wool. Um, and I wanted to make, I wanted to use sort of a, a more of a, a warmer season yarn. And I thought this was fun. I actually purchased and cast on a tee with a lace pattern with this. Realized when I was almost through all the lace that I had forgot that, well, I hadn't realized that you were meant to do just plainly knitting every second row or every second round. So I just made a pattern round every round. So the lace section was just very compact. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to make a shawl for summer and realized that this was actually the yarn that I wanted to use for that. So I thought, okay, I'll just rip out the tea, do some something else with that project, the tea, just use another yarn for that and do that later. And I cast on a shawl instead. The shawl I think is Mill Lane shawl, a, a free pattern on Ravelry. And this is how far I've got. So it's, it's, it's going to be semicircular, it has a lot of garter in it, and then it has uh, sections of this sort of lace. And the, there's three lace sections, and for every lace, lace section they get a little bit wider. And it's been so quick to knit up until now, but now my rounds rows are getting quite long, and it's taking a bit longer, so... Um, yeah, I can feel that um, I'm slowing down. But this is the main thing I'm working on, except for my admin projects, because this um, I was planning to actually have as a gift for someone and I better uh, get it done in not too long. So I'm holding these doubled. I think I'll have plenty for a nice big shawl. I think what will be the limiting factor is how much, um, how motivated I am. <laughs> but it's it's quite nice and nice. And because we, um, I was a passenger in the car on the way down here to Port Arthur from Northern Tasmania, so we had quite a few hours in the car. That's when I did main part of that shawl, and then it's just been an easy knit to do. Um, sitting just out here on the balcony of our cabin overlooking the water and um, yeah it's just been nice so they're the only that's the only knitting that I can show you so I hope that you will enjoy seeing what I open in my advent calendar I won't talk anything talk about it at all I'll just insert that footage of me opening them hopefully you'll find that a little bit fun okay that's what I want to share with you this time and um, hopefully I'll be back in about a week's time and I'll show you the second Sunday Advent from Rosie Byland. See you then. Bye.